Let's rock and roll. It is a Wednesday in the holiday week. Rico on vacation, David on vacation, Roberto back for a day until he goes back on vacation. I mean, sick or who knows? <laughs> Listen, there he is. It's so nice to have you here. Um, we have a lot of ground to cover here today. And I, I actually, we're going to get to U of M a little bit later. Because I want to know if I'm overconfident. Now, mind you, while some of you spineless jellyfish were still afraid of Ohio State or, you know, oh, my God. It's like, guys, I've said this now for a while. You're playing for the national title. It's just a matter of who you face. We're going to get to that. I also have to discuss the bowls. And not the kind that Kenny smokes. I mean what used to be college football. Because doing the research for cash the ticket and trying to handicap games, guys, I don't even know why we're playing these games at this point. I mean, you are talking about games missing 8, 10, 12 starters. You're talking about the Rose Bowl being without arguably the five best players, maybe five of the six. And I want to know, A, if it's hurt your ability to watch, or B, can it be fixed? Should it be fixed? How can it be fixed? We're going to get to that. Got an update on the Tua situation, which I got to be honest with you. I really believe he's one hit away from his career being over. And now you have a joint investigation from the NFLPA and the NFL and the Dolphins. I, so we got a lot to do. But where I want to start, and I know most people didn't see it, don't care, but when I tell you, it, it'll elicit a response. What Luka Doncic did last night, it may have been the single greatest performance in an NBA game in history. Now, you might be like Kenny and hate basketball. That's fine. You can still respect when someone says, hey, it was the best single game ever played. It would be the equivalent of, look, nobody really likes hockey. But if you told me somebody waltzed out onto the ice last night and had a 10-point game, including seven goals, you'd be like, holy hell. So what Luka did was the first game in NBA history of 60, 20, and 10. 60 points, 20 boards, 10 assists. What made it even more impressive is he did it on 31 total shots. He shot 21 of 31 from the field. And he only took six three-pointers. It was as efficient as as impressive, as dominating as any performance anyone has ever seen. Now, you may tell me it's a meaningless regular season game in late December. Okay, I, I'm not. I won't even attempt to argue it. But it got me thinking about all sports, the most impressive games that we've watched, not what you heard about, right? Not the stuff when the TV was black and white, not 1923. Like, nobody cares that Ty Cobb stole 50 bases in one game. I'm talking about, like, modern. And, look, if you want to battle and say, like, great example locally, the most dominant performance I've seen in person might be what LeBron did to the Pistons, scoring the last 25 of regulation in overtime and effectively destroying the franchise. I mean, it was every trip down the court. Unstoppable. You know, if you want to tell me, hey, I think, uh, you know, what, what it, like football wise, I'll give you another example. Now, I wasn't there, but watching it, what Kenneth Walker did to U of M last year, that was an all hands on deck, you know, pot committed, huge game against two really good teams, and K9 single handedly kept the Spartans afloat, brought them back, put them in the lead, the whole thing. I mean, a five touchdown, 200 yard performance against an incredible Michigan defense. So I wanted to expand it. Just do a couple segments. You don't even have to like basketball. You don't even have to know who Luka Doncic is. You need to Google Google. But I don't care what sport it is 60, 20, and 10 in basketball, I don't even know what the comp is. I mean that. I really don't. I don't know if that's seven goals in hockey. I don't know if that's, you know, 500 yards passing and and six TDs in football. I I don't know. To score 60 points, grab 20 rebounds, and dish the ball 10 times 
And to do it on 60% shooting and only taking 31 shots, it is essentially the most dominant, efficient, and impressive performance in the history of the sport. Period. So what is the best you've seen? What is the game you watched? And I don't even care. It doesn't have to be a team you like. It doesn't even have to be a sport you like. But like, Kenny, because you're the hockey guy, I understand it will be very difficult to comp what Luka did last night. But what what is the single most dominant performance that you've seen in the NHL? Like, what would it be? Well, locally, it would probably be one of those uh, Johan Franzen games back in the uh, 2000, what, 12 or no, eight or nine it would have been, where we scored like five goals in a game. But I was actually thinking uh, more of a football example. Give me a football one. The first one that jumped into my mind was the Tom Brady Super Bowl 51 comeback. I've never seen anything like that, and that solidified my opinion that this, this is the greatest football player I've ever seen in my life. And Big. I'm not a huge Tom Brady guy. I didn't care about the team. Pull his stat line for me. Can you do that? And, and again, the stat – doesn't have to be the end all be all it could be of a lesser statistical note but it but like what what kenny is saying has merit it's the biggest stage it's a one and done it's the super bowl and what he did when he did it was to come back from 28 to 3 so i i am willing to listen 43 completed passes 466 yard passing yards yeah it was it was the stage i think to me that it was yep and, and again, it wasn't about the performance by the guy. Right, it was about I, where the performance happened. And, and what I don't want to do is the whole first take routine. Clearly, I'm not going to yell and scream about it. If you don't value what Luca did because it was a regular season game, then that's your prerogative. I'm not angry about it. But, all right, Kenny throws out Brady's comeback against Atlanta 28-3. Stat line matches, moment matches, that would be the equivalent. Okay. I just, listen. When you see, like, what was the performance years ago? It was Bianca Batuka. Um, he ran for, like, what, 300 yards. Pull up the Bianca Batuka game. I mean, that really becomes, like, I remember a game in college, and I know, I'm old, but it would be LaDainian Tomlinson at TCU rushing for, I think it was 470 yards in a college football game. Every carry seemingly was 50 yards, 60 yards. And that's back when they were running a little speed option. So there were all these pitches on the perimeter, and and LT would just fly. Like, you're talking about, I just saw something I've never seen before. I'll watch basketball the rest of my life. I'll never see 60, 20, and 10 on 31 total shots. Just won't happen. Yeah, the Bianca Patuga game, he had uh, 313 yards against Ohio State in 95. I mean, go ahead. Watch football the rest of your life. You may never see a back go for 300. Then factor in it's Ohio State, it's Michigan, it's a winner-take-all deal, like those types of things. 313 yards. That redefines excellence. How many carries, too? I just texted out again. Of course you did. Details, Kenneth. Details, but I want to see from you guys. 248-539-9797. We're only going to do a couple segments on it.